Hey, another week, another update. And then next week we're gonna have a live stream, and then we're gonna have an update again, and then another live stream, and then an update. Yes, we're going to move from the weekly updates to the bi-weekly updates. So keep that in mind for the next one. Today we're gonna to talk about the LED bar. Yeah, that's the long-awaited LED bar we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna tackle it today. But first, let's talk a bit about progression. So I finally have my DVT sample. I've been able to go through the first experience of opening the box and seeing the packaging and the keyword as one whole piece. And that's been great, but there's still a lot of details that we can do slightly better. Some parts are about the packaging, little parts are about how the keyboard is inside the packaging. And then about the packaging, we've done quite a few new things with the packaging. So first, the style is slightly different from what we've done before, and it's a completely recycled carton box. Around the recycled carton box, we usually have a plastic blister. But instead of that, we're now using a biodegradable bag that goes around the carton, which is pretty nice. And then once you open the carton inside, instead of using plastic bags or zipper plastic bags, we're using now also biodegradable, compostable bags. Though in this version, those were all bags and we show it to a layman and they're like, why so many plastic bags? They don't know it's a compostable bag. So that's something that we need to improve in the experience. But we also realized that you might want to keep some of these parts for use later or longer, like the silicone feet, and a zip bag would be pretty nice. So we're now working also on making a zip bag version of the compostable bags. There's also a DVT sample coming in for the zinc alloy keyboard. When that one comes in, then I can do that same experience with a zinc alloy case, which is slightly different because it comes inside the travel case instead of doing the same box. So now let's talk about that LED bar. The LED bar. The LED bar has 10 individual squares and it's also a single continuous line. And it's all about communication. It's not there to be an aesthetic or some kind of flashy LED thing happening. It's there for communication. We've been thinking for a long time, how can we do better communication on our keyboard? It's an analog keyboard that has quite a lot of settings and it's gonna get increasingly complex as we go forward. Originally we were thinking about things already as, let's do a screen or let's do a more complicated type of LED indication on the whole keyboard. But that's also the thing, it gets pretty complicated and we didn't want to overcomplicate things for something that has to start relatively simple. So the ATHE we decided let's make a start on ways of doing indication on the keyboard differently. So what is this supposedly going to do for you? Well, as you might have noticed on your 6th ATHE or if you know somebody with a 6th ATHE, we do a lot of indication on the per key RGB on the 60. So a few examples of indication on the 60 is when you jump into a function layer. The function layer has different RGB colors. When you jump to a different profile, the profile has different RGB colors. When you put on the touch effect, you press the key, you can see how far down is that key pressed. But that is all happening on the keys. So what happens if you turn off the RGB? All the indications are gone. And that's a little bit troublesome if that's the main way of communicating. And that's why in the ATHE now we have an LED bar on its own, which can communicate on its own without fully depending on all the other keys. So it can still indicate to you on which profile are you? Uh, do, are you in an FN layer? Are you activating a certain key? It opens the door for us to do better indications. We can do things like, this is your activation point. This is your rappy snappy sensitivity. We can add a key on the keyboard that allows you to change the settings of your activation point, to change the settings of your rapid trigger, or to clearly indicate where are your rappy snappy keys. And you might have not noticed this, but we're working towards being able to do these things more and more. So in the future, you will be able to allow the keyboard to react to certain settings or to certain indications that not only come from the keyboard, but even come from your system. So think about volume, think about RAM usage or mute button is on, right? These kind of indicators are coming from the system, which means that we're dependent on the system to tell us, the keyboard, basically, what's happening on your system and that your keyboard can display something. Now, I'm not gonna say this is a completely new invention or this is a whole innovation that we're bringing out here, there are snippets and snaps from different keyboard vendors out there that do something similar. They do it in one area or the other area. And now it's time for us to grab all of that, 
put it together in the Wuting way and present it to you in a much nicer, better way that you have a great experience with. And then we have this part where if you have the LED bar on and you have also RGB LEDs on on all the keys, there's a feeling of overkill, too much RGB. And I've read through some comments and you know what? I understand the sentiment because I agree. When we started with the booting keyboards, especially booting one, we really, really disliked how everything was moving to more and more RGB and everything was focused on RGB animations and, and whatever tricks, but very little function and real value was added to the keyboard. It was just a gimmick. And we don't want that for our keyboards. The LED bar is not there to add more RGB colors. It's there for that piece of communication. And if you're smart and you don't like all the RGB colors, right? I create a single color of all my keys and then I make a different color on my LED bar and I decrease the brightness. You can even turn off all the RGB colors or all the LEDs off from every key and only leave on the LED bar. Because don't forget what the purpose of the LED bar is. It's there to communicate with you. So that's the only one you really need to keep on. That's it and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.